Well, I should start by saying I grew up in Laguna Beach. My father was an artist, and when I was a little girl, I grew up at the Festival of Arts grounds, which looked like the Sawdust Festival. They had sawdust on the grounds, and then the sawdust, of course, was a breakaway show. My medium of art is I'm a printmaker who works mostly in monotypes, which are one-of-a-kind prints, and then I paint, usually acrylic on canvas. Sometimes I combine those to do collages, and my work ranges from being abstract to abstracted landscape. So I've been in this show for 30 years. I was trained as a printmaker, and but when I came to Laguna, I started doing clothing. I painted on clothing and after about five years of that and being very successful I thought, wait a second, I have a BFA in printmaking, I should do prints. The way I go about making my prints, my monotypes, is I start with a plate. And that plate, I can either use it as a blank plate or what I can do is scratch into it and make lines, which gives me another dimension. Once I have my plate prepared if I'm going to scratch it or it's blank. I ink it up with rollers, brayers, and different inks, brushes. I add, I take away, and I layer. And then I run it through the etching press and it prints it onto fine printmaking paper. I can stop right then or I can embellish it further either by drawing on it or by using it as a base for collage. My approach to my painting is a little bit different than other people's. I don't start with an idea of what I'm going to do. I know it's going to reference landscape and I know it's going to reference water and land, but it's more of a conceptual approach to landscape. What I'm interested in is a dialogue between representing a place and the dialogue between paint and surface. In art we call this being a formalist and it means that I'm as interested in how a line influences a shape how two colors relate and vibrate with one another, as I am in creating a sense that this is an ocean and a cliff. What I love about the Sawdust Festival is the artists. I love getting together with the artists and seeing each other at Booth Pick, and it's just really nice to watch people over the years. Because I've been in the show for so long, there are artists that I knew as children who made little ceramic things in their dad's booth, and I bought them, and now I buy coffee cups, and I see their children, so that's really fun. And I love seeing the visitors to the Sawdust Festival. I love, there's a lady who comes every single year, and she wears a shirt that she, that I designed and that she bought several years ago and she always shows me that she has my shirt on and I'm always happy to see her and, and you know it's just part of that sawdust experience that I really enjoy. Would I recommend that someone be an artist? I don't think you recommend that someone is an artist. Someone is either an artist or they are not an artist. The life of being an artist is everything is always interesting if you're an artist. You can conquer your boredom. That's all good. But there are parts of being an artist that are not part of the romantic artist story. Number one is you schlep a lot of stuff. You have to do a lot of work. You never know if anyone is going to like what you make. You just have to make it and love it and hope they love it too. I don't have a choice about being an artist or not. I am an artist. If you feel it, and you love it, and you are it, then you should pursue being an artist. My name is Hedy Bujan. I'm an artist whose work currently takes the form of printmaking and painting. <laughs>